Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultrix tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the Text to Columns tool. The Text to Columns tool is a very useful tool for um, parsing our data. It can be found in the parse category. Um, if we have a standard delimiter or set of delimiters that we're using, um, the text columns tool is great. We don't need to get deep into regex. Um, like all these videos, we're going to be using the examples that are provided in the Alteryx designer. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to split to columns using one delimiter. So we're going to make sure that we're selecting the correct field that we want to parse here, which is the address field. We're going to parse it into three columns because there are two delimiters, which are commas. That's going to end up giving us three columns. We're going to say leave the extra in the last row. And now we see we have three address fields that have been created. We've got a kind of a street address, the name of the city, and then the state and the zip code. Now we can also use multiple delimiters if we want to. Um, and we'll see that we have multiple delimiters in our address three column. So let's go ahead and select that column. We are going to want to delimit based on a space and a dash. So again, we're going to split to columns. Um, we're going to split to three columns and let's change our output root name to state zip. That way we don't have address 31 and address 32 coming up. We'll hit the run button. And we'll see that that address three field has been split into state zip one, state zip two, and state zip three. And in cases where we don't have a nine digit zip, anything after the dash, we're just gonna have null fields and, and that's okay. We can also go ahead and rename all these fields after this with the select tool. Uh, we can also put a space in as a delimiter rather than uh, showing the uh, escaping space, but then nobody would ever be able to see that. So it's a best practice just to go ahead and use that backslash, uh, that slash space, excuse me. Uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at this list of Alteryx tools along with their categories and search tags. So uh, we are going to uh, first split the columns, but we're going to ignore certain delimiters that occur in brackets. Uh, the reason we're going to do this is because we're going to separate the category out from the search tags. So the first thing we want to do is grab one of our text columns tools and then set it up. So we want our delimiter to be a pipe. We're going to point this at the category and search tags. We're going to just split it into two columns and we're going to leave the extra in the last column. But then we want to ignore delimiters and brackets because if we look at our data, we'll see that we have a pipe um, that separates our category from our search tags, but then our search tags are all within um, brackets. So any, any of our pipes that occur within brackets, we're going to ignore. Hit the run button and we'll see that we now have two nice fields. One includes a category and then the other one has the search tags, but they have not been delimited. When we look at these search tags, we'll see that there are a variable number of search tags in each one of our tools. So we can't just select the number of columns. We're going to have to go ahead and, and split this to rows. So you can see that action tool has what, six, and then there are others that have seven or eight. So let's go ahead and grab our output from our previous tool and hook it up to a new text to columns. We are going to point this at our category and search tags too, because that's where our search tags are. Our delimiter is going to be a few things here because it's separated in, in a couple different ways our data is. So we are going to include a pipe. We're going to include a space. We're going to have an open bracket and a closed bracket. And then we're going to split to rows. Okay. Um, we are going to ignore any delimiters that uh, occur in quotes here. And you'll see that now we've gone and we've split all this out, but we end up with a bunch of empty spaces. And, and the reason why we did that is because we have some delimiters that occur twice in a row. Like we have a space and a pipe next to each other, for example. So uh, let's go ahead and find a way to fix that. Let's grab a, another text columns tool, or we can just copy the one that we already have paste it down below, hook up to our original data, and uh, we want to select this last box that says skip empty columns. So uh, now we're going to skip any empty ones that are created, 
um, where we have double delimiters and have a nice clean table. I'm gonna show you one more example of splitting to rows um, that, that we can use here that isn't included with the tool, but it's just a very simple little lookup table. We've got a list of managers, Ted, Tim, Gina, and Ginny, and they all have states that they work in. We wanna find a count for how many states each of these people, each of these managers have. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to split that state field into different rows so that we can eventually count it. So let's select state, split to rows, comma is our delimiter. And now we have a list of each of these and we can use one of our favorite tools, the uh, summarize tool to get a nice count of how many states are being managed by each manager. So we're gonna group by manager, we're going to count each state and we end up with a nice list of both managers and the number of states that they are dealing with. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.